Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the family of Typhoon K MREP, mine resistant and damage protected vehicles to you. I would like to talk a bit about the history. They had been developed under the request from the Russian Defense and Law Enforcement Agencies and later were commissioned by them. They are mass produced and they are exported to. Those vehicles were designed for cargo and troops transportation. They are well protected against small arms, different debris, mines, explosive devices. And let's have a look at Typhoon K53949. It's a 4x4 vehicle with a conventional cab composition. That means that the 350 horsepower engine is at the front. The GVW of the vehicle is 15.7 tons and the cruising range is up to 1,000 kilometers. Now let's have a look inside. But before we get in, I would like to underline the fact that the hull is a welded and armed hull with uh, ceramic elements is armor protection up to Stanag 3 level and the glass has the same protection level, Stanag 3. That means it withstands SVD 7.62 millimeter armor piercing bullets. So let's get inside and have a look in. So all the seats of all Typhoon K vehicles be it the driver's seat, the crew member, or the troops, they're all anti-traumatic and withstand explosives and equipped with five-point safety seat belts. The dashboard provides necessary information for the driver about the systems and elements of the car. The visibility is provided by the glass armor protected and additional surveillance is provided by the 360 degree camera which depicts all the information on this screen you can have a look around and you'll be always well aware of the situation the hull is a unified space for the driver the crew member and the troops it is equipped the, the vehicle is equipped with a nine-speed mechanical gearbox. Now let's have a look inside the rear part of the vehicle. The hull withstands different hardships of battle but for additional protection grills and grids can be installed on it. The tires are run flat and bulletproof. The spring suspension is augmented with hydraulic dampers. The clearance is 433 mm, which augments cross-terrain capabilities. And due to the V-shaped hull, it withstands explosions of various explosive devices up to 6 kg of TNT under the hull or under the wheel. But that uh, characteristic can also be augmented upon the request of the customer. The crew and the troops can embark and disembark the vehicle via four doors. There are two to each side and there is another door, a ramp door in the back of the vehicle. Now let's get in via the steps for convenience of the troops inside. Uh, the crew compartment is fitted with uh, anti-traumatic seats, as I have already mentioned. With the five-point seat belts, all the seats of the soldiers are also equipped with special stands for their firearms. They can be safely stowed there. The lights are here. Uh, for the personnel operating in the hot climate, there is a conditioning system. And for survivability of the crew, there is a firefighting system. 
there are additional hatches in the roof for air conditioning and for emergency situation. As you know, they may happen in real battle. Typhoon K53949 is an extremely versatile vehicle. It can be tailor-made to different missions. For example, it can be adjusted to medivac missions or different weapons can be installed on it, such as Cornet EM anti-tank weapon, for example. But we've seen a lot about Typhoon K53949. Now let's have a look at its bigger brother. It's Typhoon K63968. It's a 6x6 uh, vehicle with the same protection level, with the same bulletproof run-flat tires, but with a non-conventional composition. That means that the front cabin is fitted right in front of the engine. So the engine is right behind the cabin. It's a 450 horsepower diesel engine. You can get the access to the engine via the side hatch or you can tilt the cabin. So now let's get inside the cabin and have a look at the equipment and devices that we have in there. The crew consists of three people and it can transport up to 14 soldiers in the rear compartment. The driver has all the necessary information on his dashboard about all the systems and elements of the car. Uh, the bulletproof glass has the same Stanag 3 level uh, and the same 360 degree surveillance system is installed on this car. You can be sure about the combat awareness of the crew and the same information can be fed to the display in the back of the car. Uh, there's an interesting feature. You can lock the doors automatically in case uh, the personnel is wounded or in any other case. You just press the button and hold it. That's it. Uh, you can adjust the light inside the cabin. It can be for driving in the night and the regular one. Now let's open the ramp door for the troops and you can have a look at the whole process on this screen. All the systems are depicted here about the environment on the battlefield and about the environment inside the car, all the systems. So now let's have a look in the back. The wheels are the same run flat tires, but there's a hydropneumatic dampers. The suspension can be lowered or made a bit higher for better cross terrain capabilities. It's another salient feature of this vehicle. There are 14 soldiers that can be transported by this vehicle and they can embark and disembark via the ramp or the ramp door. All the seats, as I have already mentioned, they're anti-traumatic and equipped with five-point safety seat belts that can be fastened easily and adjusted to your size and the height. They will keep you in place in any condition. And they're equipped with quick release system like this. And you are ready to go into battle, guys. 
In general, the compartment is equipped with all the necessary bells and whistles, such as conditioning system for those operating in hot climate, with air filter system, which augments the survivability of the crew. It provides the necessary information about battle awareness that can be depicted on those screens. The communication is provided via that communication device. You can always stay tuned and uh, get in touch with the driver. There are also six hatches in the roof for conditioning and for your safety in case of emergency. It is equipped with lights and with small things that make the life of a soldier a bit better in the battlefield, in any climate, and any terrain. Typhoon K63968 is an extremely versatile vehicle. Due to a modular composition, the rear part defines the designation of the vehicle, be it cargo or troops transportation. Before I go, I would like to remind you that both of the vehicles, they have proper combat experience and successful combat-proven record in various counter-terrorist operations all over the world. But we are ready not to supply only the vehicles. We are ready to share the technological solutions with our customers.